Hello YouTube, today this is my first um, tutorial review how to connect on this little wireless keyboard. It's, I have it right there open. So it's um, $69 of the App Store. Obviously, you can get it like cheaper from Amazon or something like that. And I'm just going to show you some pictures. Sorry, it's a bit wobbly. Okay. That's like the side view. That's that's like 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 if you cut it, that's yeah. And that's like the other side. So basically what this is is this there is the power button. You turn yeah, you, you turn it on there. If you turn this round, there are where the batteries go in. Um the batteries go in I think it's first plus and then the second one starts with plus as well so positive um, and yeah let's just start talking about this so as you can see it has all the normal keys of a, of a keyboard obviously like if you if you get the international version you get the international if you get the I don't know Chinese version you get the Chinese keyboard so you have the escape button there so you can get you have these two buttons to make your screen brighter you have the dashboard, launch pad, and then you have two blanks. Two blanks are there for um, because normally, as you as on this keyboard, on the Mac keyboard, you have the things to brighten up your keyboard there, but this isn't available on the wireless keyboard, which is kind of a pity, but it will just drain too much power. You have the usual song, play, pause, um, forward, backward. Now, yeah, so this basically song starts. See? And then you have the um, loud, loud, like, like that stuff. I'm just disconnecting my keyboard here. So there you have the mute button there, then you have um, volume down, volume up, and then you have the eject disc button there. Um, I haven't tried this with a keyboard cover yet. Um, I'll I'll make another video with um, doing with do trying it out with the keyboard cover, which I actually have have somewhere. Then you have that just like the standard keys there. But overall, I have this um, since. I think beginning of yeah beginning of October, and obviously now it's November, and I'm actually pretty, I quite like it, and it's easy to use, it's easy to, it's easy to connect. Yes, so I'm just gonna show you how to connect this. Um, let's just see the whole screen. Yes, so what you do is you go to System Preferences. There. Then you go to keyboard there, and then you go to set up Bluetooth keyboard, and there you hit the power button there, that power button, and then it it'll emit a um signal. So now I, I press the power button, the screen light is gonna bl bl go for five seconds, then it's gonna flash, and so right now because I've connected this um before. It still says no keyboard fan, but if you go to my Bluetooth, it says wireless keyboard. And, well, basically, first of all, the name was this. That's how the usual name structure looks like. But you can rename rename that by going into show. Um, but, so you go back, go to Bluetooth. Then there you, then there you see your um, devices. You go on to you go right click and then you go to rename. Then you can just rename it. Basically anything that's how it will show up on other computers as well. Yeah, so um, you can easily clean it. You can use blue, blue tag, but I wouldn't get any like liquid in there. That I don't think that that would be good. And also like the, like the badges, I haven't changed them once, and they're still up at. If we have a look. Hundred percent. 
So yeah, that's that's pretty good. And also, I think you can also change the layout, but you but the key, obviously the keys won't change. So I'll post a link into the description of the video on where to get it. Um, well, obviously you can get it off Amazon or, or Apple, but I'm just gonna use the Apple Apple um, website link. And I mean the package it was obviously it was Apple quality. Also like the hard case, the hard thing there. This is for my trackpad, which I got just yesterday. I'm um, I also quite like that. But I'll do another video on that soon. And yeah, I really enjoyed. I'm really enjoying working with this keyboard. It's obviously it's really light. Well, it's I mean it's not that light, but it's but it's for like a wireless keyboard, it's pretty light. Um, I, I like like the way it it's on there, so it's not flat. But you have like just like a bit of 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 it of like of it like going up. It's like if you want to game with it, it's good as well. I game with it well basically all the time I'm home. I use it, yeah. I also use it if, every time I'd, I'm at home. And yeah, that's basically all you can say about that. I mean, if you really want a wireless keyboard and you have a Mac or an iPad, which it, which it is also compatible with. It's compatible with every Mac, I think, so MacBooks, and also like the Mac Pro and the iMac. And it's also compatible with iPad, which you can also connect, but I'll show you that also in another video how to connect the like keyboard to iPad and also other stuff to iPad. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, give, tell me what you think is good, what, what I should improve. Um, link there, first video, and yeah, like, like it right down there, come on, press that button now, press it, press it, okay, good, thank you, and I'll see y'all next time, bye.